Hey everybody out there in Facebook and YouTube, this is Chris Nicholson, and right now I'm showing you guys my limited edition Casio CTK 6250. Um, this is a portable 61 key, and it's the same exact thing as the 6200. Only thing about it is that it has, the front paneling is the ruby red finish. Um, many features that they improved over the years of um, making the CTK series and the WK series. Um, the WK version of this is a WK6600. Number one feature is that with one hand, I could pick it up. It doesn't weigh a thing. This weighs less than a, an acoustic guitar. So these days, keyboard players want to be like guitar players and just pick up and go. That's one feature. Number two features that are on the CTK and WK series is that the action has improved. So I'm playing the action with the keyboard off. And there's no key clicks like how it was on a previous series. So if I do a glige, everything is quiet. It's not it's not that noisy. Before you when you do a glige, you're like <laughs> you know, you're hearing um, more key noises than you're hearing keyboard. Uh, number three is that they angled up the screen, the whole front paneling, and they angled up the speakers. So you can actually hear these as monitors, and with the screen, you can um, you can actually see it a lot better. Um, the previous CTK series only had the headphone jack as your main out. So once you plug in the headphones, these speakers cut off. Now you have the um, the stereo inputs, which is the the right and left channel, and the speakers won't cut off. You can still use these as personal monitors. Um, of course, you have a line in jack, which is for your uh, MP3 player audio file. And you also have a USB connector, so you can connect it straight to a computer, and your SD card. Um, I'm going to show you more features on this keyboard, but first I shall play the demos on this keyboard for you. Now, since I have a close up of this keyboard, I'm going to turn it on. And a lot of people for the CTK and WK series don't know where the demo button is. It's going to be right over by the stop start button and the part select button. And all you have to do is just press them at both at the same time. And here's the demo. I'm going to play all the demos on this keyboard so you guys can listen to it.
And that proves it. Cassio is now crossed over to the professional world, and they're no longer toys, as I say, because I perform out with Casio now. I kind of left all my other instruments alone, because number one is that it's the lightest, it's very doable of, um, if you want to do instrument changes real fast, it is the best when it comes to piano. I mean, I take this over a Yamaha piano anytime. Um, and also another thing about it is that, um, I mean, it has a lot of, a lot of awesome features, like the 17-track sequencer, as you can hear in the demo, is very professional. You have a 70, 70, I'm sorry, 17 track linear uh, sequencer. That means each additional tracks. Other keyboard companies, they give you, they say it's a 16 track sequencer, but you have to go through different process just to get to it, and it's not really good. This you can edit. You can um, edit the notes. You can also overdub, replace, just like on a normal workstation um, keyboard. So, for the price range, this keyboard has the best workstation abilities. Um, I'm going to make a sound demo, so stay tuned for the next video.